All right, welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Um, I always like to, to share something new with you guys. We took a little hiatus there because I ran out of ideas, people. <laughs> but now I have some, so we're back. <laughs> but if you ever have anything you want me to teach you or you want to learn about, let me know and I'll, um, I'll work on that. So uh, tonight I'm going to show you a really cool, I've showed you before how to do a Canva website link or a bio link. Um, for our shopping links, but I want to show you a really cool thing that I think would really be um, a good addition to Facebook parties. So let's say you have a Facebook party and it's going, but there's some people who might not have Facebook or might not want to come to the party. Your hostess, if you give her one of these little click and go things, can then send those to those people and those people can still shop. So it's kind of a fun thing. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I don't know if you clicked on it earlier, um, but this is, oh, um, yeah, okay, that works. Um, this, oh, not found. Thanks. Great. Hold on. Oh, mm. Oh, I deleted that one. Yes, I did. Okay, let me think. Going over here. Okay, we're going over here. Um, this is what, no, that's not it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm on it. All right, so that's not what I wanted. Okay, sorry, I thought I had that there. I'm gonna do something real fast and just get over there so I can show you what I'm, Pretend like this is not happening right now. Just take a little break, have a little drink. Okay, there we go. I just wanna show you what it's gonna look like when somebody clicks on it. This is what we're creating. Okay, here we go. All right. So, you're going to you're going to send this to somebody and on their phone it works really well cuz it's set up like for a phone um and basically we're going to update this for us and i'm going to show you how to do that but it's just kind of this would be the first page and then it says click here to shop or scroll to see more so then we're going to scroll on down and then the next page is going to pop up and then there's going to be out here it says anything that's underlined is a link to more information. Well, you'll see nothing is underlined here yet, but we're going to take care of that in a minute and I'm gonna show you how. And then we're gonna go down more, check out our full line of products, learn more about wax and warmers. Um, here it's just showing that there's lots of different price points, not everything's super expensive. Um, click here to shop the warmers, click here to see the wax fragrances and just keep scrolling learn about our diffusers and click here to shop them. So it's just kind of like a, it's called a click and go party. So can you see how this would be really cool to be in conjunction with a Facebook party? Or if somebody doesn't have Facebook or doesn't want to do a Facebook party, you could just set this up for them, send it to them and they could send it to their friends. Um, super stinking cool, right? Super stinking cool. And um, Sarah was so nice. She was one of the SSDs at my retreat that she created this and just shared it with us so that we can um, update it. So I am gonna get out of here. Um, I'm gonna make sure I don't delete something that I need. Okay. So basically, I want to show you when um, when I, I'm going to send the link for this down below. After I post this, it'll be in the comments. Um, and it's a Canva template. So when you get it, it's going to kind of look like this. And you're going to click on it. And then you're going to see that it's going to say use template. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to click on use template. And that's going to launch you into Canva. OK. I'm not going to click on it because I, it's already over in my Canva and I don't want it to copy it over there again. Um, but that's what you're going to do. You can see that and you're going to click use template and it's going to pop you over into Canva, which is where I'm going to go right now. And then 
you are going to see it right here. So see right here, it says copy of generic spring click and go. So it'll be right here for you to use. So now we're going to, um, we're gonna click on it so that we can edit it, okay? If you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, please, please jump in and ask because that is the reason why you're on here, right? And we're doing it one-on-one -on -one so that you can ask questions. Um, and before I go any further, further, once you get this all updated the way you like it, when you go in to do another one for another hostess, you're going to change the party link and things like that. You just click these little three dots right there and then click make a copy and then it'll make an exact copy right over here. And then you can just come down here and rename it like Sue's hostess party. Okay. So, might already know that, but some people might not. Okay, so I just clicked on it and now we're in here and it's all ready to go for us. Sarah was so nice to do that. Um, so it says your friend name, love Cincy and thought you might too. So we're gonna say your friend, Jenny. We'll pretend like we know how to spell your friend Jenny. Love Cincy and thought you might too. Um, so now we want to, um, I'm going to take this little picture out because that warmer, that acute copper warmer isn't available anymore. So I don't want a, a warmer in there that's not available. So um, if you've used Canva before, if you go over here to the upper left and click on uploads, um, that's where you, will, you can find pictures. If you don't have the picture that you want, if you click this little purple in the upper left that says upload media, then you can go anywhere on your computer and grab whatever you want. We'll just grab something and then it pops it right there, okay? I'm not gonna use that one, I'm gonna use this one here, but once it's there, then you just, um, I'm gonna get rid of, go over here to the acute copper that's gone and click on it. If you can see, I'm kind of clicking on it and then I'm gonna hit delete and it went away. Now I'm going to come over here to the left and click on the one with the mirrored rows and I'm just going to click on it and it pops it over into the middle. Okay, we got similar people. Um, and then we're going to just drag the corners, make it smaller, drag it over and then this little thing down here that looks like a little arrows going these ways, um, you're just going to move it. And um, Emmy and Alyssa, I know you guys are like Canva pros. So if I'm doing anything weird or a harder way than you know to do it, feel free to jump in and uh, help me because I am not a Canva pro by any means, but I know how to um, manipulate somebody else's stuff pretty good. Um, if you'll see like the bottom left hand corner of this photo is now over the other photo. So it looks kind of weird. So if I click right click and hit send to back oh, or nope. Then to hold on. We're playing with it. Where'd you go? Bring mm -mm -mm -mm. to front, send to back. Okay, I'm just gonna do it again. <laughs> Which one am I supposed to click, girl? Oh, there we go. It's all good now. I don't know what. So you just play with it till you get it right. <laughs> Um, and then I don't want the picture of Sarah in there either. So sorry, Sarah, you're gone. Um, and we'll just, uh, what will we put in there? Do, 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 do. We'll just put those over there. It's gonna be quite perfect because it's a funky size, but that's all right. We can mush it down, there we go. And move it there, okay. Then this little uh, little explanation bubble or talking bubble. Hi, I'm name. So I'm going to put my name in there. Okay, and I don't want Sarah's picture there again. So we're going to delete her again. Okay, and now this is kind of the fun thing about Canva. If you guys don't know this little trick yet, I'm just going to pop a picture of me over here, but it's gonna look funny if I bring that down there because of all the background in there. 
So um, Canva Pro, so the paid version has a cool thing called background remover. So if you click there and then click up here in the upper right where it says edit image, and then right down here, just a little bit down, it says background remover. If you click that, look what happens, it's magic. Oh, look at that, isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. So the background just went away. And now we can put me over here. And now Sarah's gone and I'm there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now here's the fun part. Um, if you guys don't know how to do links, um, see where it says click here to shop? Right now that's just words, right? But um, Canva has a way that if you, you can add a link there. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna go up here to the upper right. And you see um, right there where it says links, it looks like two little paper clips together. You can click that and then you're gonna tell it where to go. Okay, so I'm gonna tell it to go to my website and then I'm just gonna hit enter. And now you see that it's underlined, okay? Um, so we're gonna check it in a minute after we add some more things and then I'll show you what it looks like when we, when we get to there. So now that that's underlined, it's a link. So it says click here to shop and when they do, it'll take them right to my website. And then it says for scroll to see more. So we're gonna scroll, scroll on down. Um, special of the month. Okay, so this is kind of fun. So none of these are linked, but we can make them linked, okay? So the way that you're gonna make them linked, first we're gonna, um, we're gonna grab a picture. And so I hit upload media. Sorry, I went kind of fast. Um, we're gonna grab a picture of this month's warmer. If you don't have one in your files, you can all you always can Google it. Go go to Google and search Scentsy bubbled iridescent, and you're gonna find pictures there. Okay, so I found that picture. Now I'm gonna pop it over here. I'm gonna delete the one that's there. That. Put that right there. Okay. Now you're like, how are we gonna get that link? So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do some of these. Okay, we're gonna go to my website and we're going to click on whatever party you want it to go to. Make sure you got it attached to the party that you want. And then what was it? It was the warmer of the month. So go to collections. So right now you'll see that my URL up here in the upper right just says yvonne.g.sensi.us. But if you go to collections and then, um, nope, go to specials and scent and warmer of the month. Um, you'll see that it added all these things at the end. Okay, so it added all that stuff at the end that takes it um, right to the scent and warmer of the month. So I'm gonna highlight that and then I'm gonna do control C for copy. Now we're gonna go back to Canva, back to here. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the website. So you're gonna click here where it says special of the month. You're gonna to go to the upper right where the little link paper clips are. Click there and then add the website. So I right clicked and then paste and then hit enter. And now you'll see that it's underlined. So now it's gonna take them right to the scent and warmer of the month, okay? I'll do it one more time for Star Wars, but then I'm not gonna do the rest of them because you guys know what, what we're, what's going on here, right? Okay, so we're gonna go back and go to collections. We're gonna to go to Star Wars. We're gonna click up here. Oop. You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering something. I'm wondering if it's grabbing the party itself. Just make sure that it's grabbing the party itself um, and not just the generic version because Obviously, if you're doing this, it's going to go into somebody's party, right? 
Um, so just make sure that that's happening. I can't really tell from this if that's happening there. Okay, so then click on Star Wars, click on link, add the link, and return. Okay, so those now are underlined. And here she put really nice, anything that's underlined is a link for more information, okay? So do that for the other ones. Um, obviously, if summer collection's over or if Little Mermaid's gone, um, you might wanna change those out. Then it says the next page, check here for our full line of products. Um, this one is kind of fun um, because it says learn about wax and warmers. So here you could actually put a YouTube video. Um, if you don't have one that you've made, you could use one that Sensi made. Um, but I do have a wax and warmers video. So I am going to show you how you would grab that. I'm just going to go to YouTube. I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. Obviously, you could probably just click, um, click Sensi Wax and Warmers what or something and find these. Oops, sorry. We need to skip like the ad. Um, but we have to, we need to be quiet. Okay. So then go up here to the URL. Then once you find the video that you want and copy it. I'm going to copy it, but I'm going to show you another real trick right here. So if you go to Sensi, well, no, I'll do that in a minute. I'll show you again. Never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so learn about wax and warmers. I'm going to click there. I'm going to go back up to that link. I'm going to add the YouTube video and click return. Okay, so now it's an underlined link. And when they click on it, they're going to go right to the video. Um, click here to shop all warmers. So that would be at your website um, right here when you click on wax and warmers and all warmers and then grab that URL, okay? Um, I'm not gonna do that. Same with the wax. Um, learn about diffusers and oils. So I have a diffuser video, so I would put mine there, but if you don't have one, this is what I would suggest that you do. Go to YouTube and type in Scentsy. Mm, where's the Scentsy channel? There we go. When you see this purple little logo there, then click on Sensi, and then click on videos. And you know, there's a diffuser video. But if you don't want to take the time to look for it, like I don't right now, type in diffuser in the search bar right here. And here's a little video. Thanks for pure enjoyment. Let me. I want to go back just for a second. I'm going to do oil. Let's do the oil diffuser tutorial instead. That'll give them better information. And then pop up here to the URL and grab that. Just highlight it. Control C to copy and paste. And then right here where it says learn about diffusers, I'm going to click on that, add the link, add the YouTube video, and hit return. Okay, and then click here to shop the oil and diffusers. That would be again back here. Um, view all diffusers and oils and grab that URL. Does that make sense? It's kind of all, it's all the same thing, right? Grabbing a video or grabbing the URL and just posting them in there, grabbing them in there um, so that they pertain to that hostess's party. Okay, so now we're going to pop on down here, um, click to bundle and save, click for clearance, click to shop the fragrance flower sale. Obviously, when the sale goes away, you're going to want to just, you could do click here to shop for fragrance flowers, and then information on hosting and joining, and then um, your name and phone number. So when, then when that's there like that, you just delete it. Um, maybe my name there. And then again, another picture of Sarah, so we can make that go away and add all of that in the name here. Hmm. 
She made it so easy for us, right? Okay. So I hope I've, I've showed you, have I showed you enough that you know how to, you know how to get on there and um, change all that stuff? Yep, okay. Hi, Courtney, we can see you now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you what to do once you're done, okay? Or maybe not, maybe you're not done, but maybe you wanna go like check it kind of. So um, the way you need to save this is up here in the upper right-hand corner where it says share in the purple, you're gonna click on that. And then you want to, um, ooh, let me move you guys. You want to share it as a website. So you have to turn it into a website link. So you're gonna click right here where it says website, okay? Um, if your computer doesn't show that website link, there's, I think it's showing it for me because I, I use it a lot. Um, but I know when we were at our training, some people's it wasn't showing up. So if you don't see it, there's another little thing like this that says more um, and click on more and then find the website because it might be hiding in there, but there's somewhere in there, whether you see it there or if you have to click on more to find it, there'll be something that says website. So you're going to click on that. And then here where it says web style, this is really important. You wanna click on that drop down menu and you wanna click scrolling. That's what makes it scroll when somebody does it on their phone, right? Remember when we looked at it earlier and it just kind of scrolled page to page? That's what makes it do that. So if you don't hit website and scrolling, it's not gonna do that, all right? So once you have scrolling, then you're gonna click on open website. And then it's gonna kind of show you it there. And now you're gonna go back up here to the URL and you're gonna grab it. I always just click on it so that it has the HTTPS and then I highlight it and copy it. Control C. And now we're gonna go back to, um, now that I copied it, we're gonna go back to um, Facebook and look at it and see how it looks. Um, one little tip that I will give you is that I have a, I call it like a garbage um, Facebook group. It's an old training group. It's called Shooting Star Training, but it's the one that I kind of use just to test things out on or put something in for later or, you know, that kind of thing. So if you don't have like a little test Facebook group, I think that's a really good thing to have because now I can go in here and check it out without actually posting it on my Facebook anywhere. So I'm just gonna go here and hit paste and post. And this will let me see what it's gonna look like and kind of test it before I actually send it out to my hostess. All right, so we'll click on it. Yep. Oh, there we go. There it is. Um, your friend Jenny, and there's me. Now we're going to click here because now it's clickable, right? Click here to shop. So now we can click on it. And look at that. Tickets right to my website. Cool. And we're going to get out of there if I can. Oh, my gosh. And the, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the share screen for, um, for Zoom is right there. So I can't, um, oh, what am I trying to do? I can't grab it. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna scroll down just to kind of see what the other things look like. So that changed. Now the special of the month, when we click on that, look at that, it takes them right to it. Isn't that cool? So cool, love it. Star Wars, take some rich Star Wars and it's in the party. So that's good. That's what we wanted to make sure it was in the party. Scroll some more. Now learn about wax and warmers. So we're gonna click there and guess what? Oh, there's a bra. <laughs> ah, that's great. Okay, skip you. <laughs> but now it's going to um, but we have to have and it has so my video about the wax and warmers. So cool. Um, we'll pop down and then we'll click here again, the oils and diffusers. And it's going to have Sensi's little tutorial. 
So if you don't have your own video, you can go ahead and use one of Cindy's. Cool, right? So neat. So now you just share this with your hostesses and she can send it to all of her friends. Um, before I click out of it, do you guys have any questions? Do you want to try something to your with your template? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty cool that where you're actually embedding the YouTube video in the page, so they don't actually have to. They could click it and it'll send them to YouTube, or they can watch it right in the page. Oh, okay, yeah. Let me okay. go. Do I need to grab the YouTube video? Yes, get the link of the YouTube video. Okay. You want. I don't know if it's still on there, so. I'll... Okay, girl, tell me what to do. Okay, go to your template. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not there. <laughs> All right, just go to the last page and like add a page to it. So could we put it up here? Where it's, it's gonna take up, it's gonna cover. It's big, okay. Yeah, so just for practice, like have like, yeah, add a page. Okay. All right. And then go to your left um, where all you have all those like features and then click on the more. And then see there's YouTube. Right in the middle, discover content from Yes, there you go, right there. Okay. Now click use on the bottom. Okay. And then uh, paste your link right there in the search. Yeah. Okay. Enter. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I just used it. I don't know if it has something to do with the link. Uh, okay. I mean, or maybe, the, what if we use. Uh... The Sensi link, maybe. Okay. Instead of just one I made. Maybe we need a professional link. There's also another way to. If you click the share instead of going to the top, um, I don't know if it's the same. If you go below the video, there's a share arrow, keep going down a little bit more. Go down, the left, there's an arrow, keep going left next to download. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then click that copy. Okay. Yeah, then try okay. that. You might like that better. It might, we'll see. There's a lot of different ways to tinker. It's my go and eat her. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Darn it. Well, we can play with that in the future. Mm -hmm. I, but it'll put like a little screen there and they just click on it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. Um, I'm going to hit stop share unless you guys have any more questions about that or anything else. Okay. All right. Well, I will put that down below and you guys can tinker with it and play with it and make it your own. But I just think it's just such a good thing for maybe people who don't want to do Facebook parties, but in conjunction with the Facebook party, I think it'd be amazing. Um, and I'm going to try it with my next little thing of Facebook parties because when I do Facebook parties, I keep, I keep track of like everybody that joined the party. And then I'll write who ordered from the party and who got party packs and things like that. Um, also, when there's a group in a Facebook party and you click on members, all the people like above us are the people who joined the party. And then all the people below are the people they invited to the party but didn't join the party. 
I really want to tinker with the idea of going back and sending those people a message or having the host to send them a message saying, sorry, you didn't join my party, but if you want to order, here's a link. Because maybe they don't want to come to the Facebook party and maybe they don't want all the posts and they don't want to join another group, but maybe they would order if they just had a link to order. So I think that's a really cool little um, thing to think about that I'm going to try now that we have these little click and glow parties to go along with it. So any other ideas or questions? Nope, excited about trying it. <laughs> I think it's really cool. I think it's great for, again, like if for people that don't have a Facebook party or don't want a Facebook party, but it's just, it could just be like a glamorized shopping link. Yeah, totally. Yep. Yeah. So you just say, here's the link, share it if you want to help, you know, get some people to order from you or, you know, collecting orders kind of thing. Yeah. So I think it's just a less pressure, you know, but still have a deadline. Of like, yeah. of order, like yeah. putting the orders in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing I heard recently that I thought was interesting was um, people not having success with the shopping links. Mm. And I think it's the wording of it, somebody said. And I, I kind of agree. Like when you say shopping link, I'm going to send you a shopping link. People think that's a link for them to shop from, right? Mm -hmm. So they're not really probably sharing it too much. They kind of think it's mine. So instead, maybe call it a referral link. Yeah. If you want a referral link, then you're going to refer to people. You're going to share it with people. Um, but when you say shopping link, it's kind of like their own personal. You want your own personal shopping link. And do we say that? Yeah, we say that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not their own personal shopping link. They're supposed to share it. So I think it's all right. in the language of it, too. So um yeah, referral link is like the, the Scentsy Club, you know, we call it a referral link when we mm -hmm. talk about the Scentsy Club referral yep. Yep. reward system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm excited. I'm going to go update mine and I'm going to try it with my uh, Facebook party that's starting next week. So I will let you know my results and um, I think it's going to be good. Great. All right, thanks for joining me, you guys. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, and recording. Oh. <laughs>